Hello, welcome. Read this problem, try it out on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so in this problem, um, we're asked to find which statement is not true, so we want to pay attention to that. I often lose track of it. And we're told that there's this one function, g of c, which equals 1 minus c squared, and m of c, which is c plus 1, and in the first choice, we're multiplying the two of them. Then we're adding and subtracting and dividing. Now here, if I'm trying to solve this problem as fast as possible, multiplication and division might take a little bit more work. But I'm going to test the addition and subtraction first to see if either of them are incorrect. It's a little bit faster to do, right? Because g of c is 1 minus c squared plus c plus 1, which is m of c. We have 1 plus 1 is 2, and then we have negative c squared, we have positive c, excuse me, and we're adding negative c squared, which is exactly what we get here, right? So I'm adding those constants, then the c term, then the c squared, um, just to get what they get. But that's, that's actually correct, so we want to cross it off. Then in the third choice, I can subtract quickly, right? We have c plus 1 minus 1 minus c squared. Notice I put that in parentheses here. So we have c plus 1, and we're subtracting the 1, and we're subtracting the negative c squared, so it's plus c squared. And what's that? What's going to be 1 minus 1, positive 1, negative 1 is 0. And then we have c plus c squared, which is what they have as well, right? So, <coughs> excuse me, we've already eliminated two choices. Now, for this one, m of c over g of c, let's write that out. It's c plus 1 over g of c, which is 1 minus c squared. Now, 1 minus c squared, that's the, that's the difference of two squares, right? It's going to factor to what? 1 minus c and 1 plus c. Remember, difference of squares, 1 is a square, c is a square, and it's called a difference because we're subtracting. It always factors to 1, the square root of the first term, minus the square root of the second term. So the square root of 1 is 1, c squared is c, and then the square root's added. So the square root subtracted. 1 minus c, and the square root's added 1 plus c. And up here, I'm going to write, instead of c plus 1, 1 plus c. I'm going to say that it's in parentheses. It doesn't really matter, but I want you to see that those cancel. These are the same thing. And what are we left with? Well, we're left with 1 over 1 minus c, which is not what we have here. So that's the answer, right? That's the, that's the, they saw that incorrectly. But just for fun, let's also look at the first one in case you thought that was incorrect. So we have g of c, right, times m of c, and that's going to equal g of c is 1 minus c squared, and we're distributing that and multiplying it by c plus 1. So what do we have to do here? Well, we have to multiply 1 times c, which is c, 1 times 1, which is 1, Negative c times c, which is negative c cubed, right? We add those two exponents with multiplying. And then negative c, negative c squared times 1, which is negative c squared. So we have here 1, and then I'll go up in order of exponents, because that's what I see here, plus c, minus c squared minus c cubed, which is exactly what they have here. That's, that's solved correctly. So we're crossing it off because we're looking for the incorrect choice. All right, hope that helped.